Okay guys, so in this video I'm um, going for a barbecue and then I've got some footage of a fish store that I was at a few weeks ago so we're going to have a fish store tour so I hope you enjoy Okay, so we've got to like the four corners of this bit of paper and then wait till the charcoal turns white and then we can stick our food on it So by now, the paper is all pretty much burnt and the charcoal's caught fire. It's time to put the food on, so we've got four beef burgers and then some links to put on. So most of it's starting to cook now, it's looking awesome. I think in future I might do a catch and cook video, so you can let me know in the comments. So now that it's all ready, we'll have our lunch and let's go to the fish store. Okay guys, so as we look around the store, I'm going to tell you as much as I can about the fish that we're going to see. And right now, I'm just giving you a look around the store. Here we have some red platies. They're found in Mexico and Central America, and they're very good beginner fish. The neon tetra is a freshwater fish, usually found in the Amazon basin of South America. Again, a very easy fish to keep. This is a silver molly, also referred to as a platinum molly. So these are platies, also a freshwater fish. They come from Mexico and Central America. They live for around four years and get along with most fish. In this tank we have parrotfish, red-tailed black sharks and also a few plecos. Angelfish in this tank that come from the Amazon basin or various rivers in South America. And here we have more red plies. In this tank there's a mix of fish, but the fish at the front of the tank in the middle is called the beta fish. It's a fish that I've never had, but I'm going to be buying pretty soon. There's some angel fish in here and some tetra. And some larger neon tetra. This is a female guppy only tank. This tank has some sunset platies. In this tank we have some rosy barbs and some albino quarries. This is an African dwarf frog. It's native to parts of Africa. They are amphibians, but unlike many amphibians, they spend their entire lives underwater, but they must come to the surface to breathe. They live up to five years. Here we have Gurami. They're native to Asia and live between three to five years.
These are guppies. These are the most popular freshwater aquarium fish species. It's also quite interesting that they give birth to live young. Here we have bala sharks. These sharks get to 35 centimetre or 14 inches. This is a cherry shrimp, but this species also comes in yellow, orange, green, blue, violet and black, but the red moth is the most frequently sold. So these are cherry barbs, I actually have some of these at home in my tank, I'll leave a link above. The males are the more redder ones and the lighter ones are female. Female betas in here. More angelfish. Here we have Romano's tetra. They come from South America. It's a freshwater fish and it's fully grown. They grow to 5 centimetres. And here we have some mixed goldfish. This is a coolie loach, it's a small eel-like freshwater fish belonging to the loach family. 